Once you have identified the works that will be analyzed, you need to do a deep and thorough read to extract the key information and themes from each piece. A coding guide will help you discern which pieces of work you will use in your systematic literature review. Be sure to note why you have excluded a piece and how the ones you have included meet the selection criteria. In the analysis phase, categorizing your findings and looking for commonalities and areas of difference is useful. When you report on your findings, you want to identify what themes emerged. Want step-by-step -step guidance on planning and conducting a literature search? Check out my research notebook, How to Write a Research Paper, template for academic search record, linked below. It provides practical templates and instructions for planning your search strategy, searching databases and sources, follow-up tracking, managing references, summarizing sources with these templates. You'll have the perfect system to organize your literature review. No more feeling lost in a sea of sources. So, head to the link below to grab my literature review notebook and start your review off right. Then, dive deep into sources, I promise you'll uncover powerful insights. Now, it's time for systematic reviews to shine a light. Have you used a systematic review approach before? If so, how did it influence your research? Let me know in the comments. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more research and writing knowledge for your academic success. Thank you for watching, see you next time.